are we going, everybody? Oh, I came out earlier today and I spotted something beautiful. Look at that. We've got a flower. We've got flowers. We've got flowers. You know how I was telling you about the, uh, the climbing rose and having a long leader and having the flowers really nice and close to the leader itself? Well, this is the example of what I was trying to achieve and it's coming through beautifully. So you're not gonna have these long wispy branches. Can you see those? See the little buds coming up there? There's one on a tip as well. How beautiful is that? Now that's our white climbing rose. I don't know the name of it, but let's call it a climbing iceberg rose. So that's doing really well. Let's go and check out the veggie garden. Just come out to have a look at the veggie garden because I've been so busy fixing fence lines. We've got to move our sheep from one paddock to another and we've got to fix the fencing and doing all other sort of jobs around the property. I haven't had a chance to spend out in the veggie garden. A couple of days, we had a bit of rain, a drizzle, and I was thinking, yeah, that's enough to keep the ground hydrated. But I reckon, you know what? I reckon our grounds are pretty dry. I don't think it's that wet. I mean, the broad are doing great. The parsley's taken off. I mean, they're pretty weedy stuff. You can see, look at this. The, the garlic's copped a beating. It's stripping it back. Uh, look, the, the capsicum, in the past, we said don't cut the capsicums back because they may come good in springtime and our frost here doesn't allow that to happen. These are dying back. This one looks like it may do okay. This one definitely will do okay. I did have my grow tunnel on here. I took it off because I was going to water and I got lazy to put it back on. That's a good tip for everybody. If you're going to do some gardening, don't be, don't be lazy. Because if you become lazy, your garden starts to get lazy and it doesn't grow well. But admittedly, we're on 20 acres, so don't judge me, eh? unless you're out here working with me. Let's have a look at the soil. It's pretty dry. It is dry. You know, I haven't watered for two days. We had a big drop of rain about four days earlier. Then we had a little bit of sunshine and more drizzle rain, late night rain, but it's dry as a bone. So it's deceiving, isn't it? You think the cold weather and a little bit of a drizzle is going to do a good job in watering your garden, but in actual fact, not enough and the plants are looking a little bit dry. So don't water in the afternoon, especially in a cold evening. Water early morning. So these little babies are going to have to wait till tomorrow morning for them to get a water unless the rains open up. Oh, we're getting a drizzle again. Look after your garden, folks. My garden's slowing down. Springtime's coming around the corner and be ready. The big malakas are on their way. They're looking good. <laughs> Check out our website, VasiliesGarden.com, for all great products at great prices, at better prices, I should say, every day. Spring specials are running on every day of the week. From me, Vasily, Marisi.